what's going on everyone it's yolo here and today we're gonna be reacting to a monster when it comes to the beast japanese samurai a fourth of sarukane half of husky oh my god i think he's like the third place in asian champs okay we have kohei which i think he's one of the best technical beatboxers in the world right now okay i love the power and like the basis he has it's so well picked out for him so yeah we're gonna check out his shout out for gbb 2021 the studio session and now let's just check this out i can't wait because i love i love koei style i love it Yo. Oh. Okay. yo my name is kohei big big shot oh. big box the quality of video already Nice. Oh my god Oh, yeah. oh my god! Dude, this is nuts! I'm sipping for this dude's beats, dude. I'm literally sipping for it. I love the the. He is like a little like the the the, and it just adds a little like back noise to it. So I love that. And the clops, bro. The clop master. I want to watch that again. That shit is so tight. Love. Oh my god! Oh, 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 oh. And adding the kick to it is just. Oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, I wish this dude made it in. I'm not gonna lie. I wanna see him in a battle. Like, for me personally, he should have made the battles, okay? I don't know how he ranked so low as he did, but. Personally, for me and his performance in GBB, he was easily a top 16 spot for me. Just, dude, his tech is so powerful. He has that fart base. I don't know what it's called. He does that little tongue base thing, but, like, it sounds more, I guess, hollow, I think. I'm not sure if that's the right. Not hollow, because that's, like, OD. But, like, I don't know. It sounds really cool. I love the texture on that one. And, dude, uh Oh my god, I, I want to see him next year, you know? I don't care, like, what category Koei's in. I mean, especially solo. I want to see him in solo, especially. But, dude, he is so sick with it, bro. I loved it. I loved it, okay? So now we're going to check out another one, studio session. We have, oh my god, we have 2H from South Korea. We're going to check out this dude's beat. Yo. No, no, no. Uh. Two ways, let's go. I like this flow. Wow. 
와우. 솔로 비박싱 I feel like t w i t c h is like the inky. He's like inky when it comes to solo beatbox. Like no one understands the way he does it, but like it got like a feel to it, you know? Of course it uh, like I'm not gonna watch t w i t c h and be like, oh that's like an inky no 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 bro. He's still t w i t c h But like when it comes to both of these, like when it comes to inky and t w i t c h they're like hella hella unique and strange when it comes to it. Oh my god, dude. I dude that was dope, okay? The, like uh his snare bro the 2h snare is literally the sickest snare out there just hard hitting just oh just mess you up jesus man 2h was nice though personally when i saw his um elimination you know for me personally i mean there were parts where i was like yo it's amazing there's other parts where i don't understand and that typically is 2h like He's kind of like in the future when it comes to things. And like when it like because when you saw him like back in other stuff, you can see that the things he's doing now is like what everyone uses in the future. So like he's kind of like traveling to the future and just using them beats or whatever. But dude, yeah, I I literally love that one. This shadow was insane. I loved it. I preferred it more than his elimination that we saw. But dude, yeah, 2H. Has an amazing style, like massive respect to that boy, man. I hope he comes back. I mean, it would just be cool, cause like Two H is just a cool beatboxer, bro. Still cool. Oh my god, very unique, and very, very, very sick. <laughs> But yeah, dude, Koe and Two H, two Asian beasts. We conquer them. You know, you guys know I'm Yolo. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.